Hello everyone, Dr Poppy here. Welcome back to my pet rescue centre. Lily is a breed of dog called a beagle. Did you know that a beagle could use its powerful sense of smell to follow another animal's tracks, even if they're buried under deep snow? Welcome, welcome Lily. What seems to be the problem? You look very itchy Lily. Shall we take a closer look at your fur and see what's making you so itchy? Let's use this magnifying glass. A magnifying glass helps us to see tiny things very clearly and in more detail. Aha! Just as I expected. You have jumpy, itchy little fleas having a party in your fur. Robbo, can you fetch the flea vacuum please? Let's suck those little fleas right up. Let's count the fleas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. We got them all. Those pesky fleas are so troublesome. Look. They're carrying on with their party. Lily, you are now flea free. Ants like to be with other ants and live in groups called colonies. Most ants are worker ants and they use teamwork to build the nest, protect their queen and find food for the rest of the colony. Hello Alice, what's wrong? Why aren't you with the rest of the colony? Oh I see Alice, you've got a bad back from carrying too much. It looks like you've been trying to do too much by yourself. There you go Alice. Do you think you'll let your family and friends help you a bit more now? Here, wear this back support which will help when you are carrying things. Well done! You're all working together as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work! Today, This is Gordon the Hamster! Hamsters like Gordon are very good at digging. They create big burrows in the soil where they live. Hi Gordon, you look like you're enjoying your wheel there. Oh dear, this is not good. It looks like you're going to be sick. Have some water. Water makes you feel better by getting rid of headaches and keeping you refreshed. How often do you spin in your wheel, Gordon? Hmm, I think Gordon is travel sick. If you're going to play on your wheel for that long, you need something that will stop you feeling sick all the time. Ask your mummy or daddy to give you a spoonful of this every morning when you wake up and at night when you go to sleep and you can play all day long. Let's see how many circles Gordon can do in his wheel now, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten! Fantastic, Gordon. You really are talented. Here comes Boris the pufferfish. Pufferfish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water, which makes their body bigger and balloon like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris? Can you show us how you puff up, please? Mm. 
Hmm, I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish. Chili, the Emperor Penguin. Emperor penguins live in a place called Antarctica, near the South Pole. Antarctica is so cold, the ground is made of snow and ice. Oh dear, Chili, you look under the weather. Let me take your temperature with my thermometer. Thermometers are used by vets and doctors to take the temperature of your body. The higher the red line in the thermometer, the hotter your temperature is. Chili is definitely too hot, but I don't think you have a fever. This coat is made of ice, which is just water that is frozen solid. It will help to cool you down. That's much better. Look how cool you look. Felix, you're an hour late. Tortoises can live for a very long time. Some can live to 150 years old. I think I know what the problem is, Felix. Are you tired of being late for everything? It must be very difficult walking quickly with that big, heavy shell of yours. Do you have any ideas, Robbo? I do have something in mind. Roller skates! Great idea, Robbo. Let's try on this pair of roller skates. Let's try it out, Felix. Try and zoom around the cones. Ready, steady, go! Done, Felix. I don't think you'll be late again. Cats are members of the feline family, which means Sarah here is actually very closely related to lions and tigers. But Sarah's a lot friendlier. Hello, Sarah. Shall we take a look at you? I promise I'll be gentle. Let's have a look. Sarah, your tummy looks very big. Have you been eating too much? Oh. Hmm, let's have a listen to your heartbeat. Well, listen to that. You have four heartbeats and a large tummy. Does anyone know why Sarah might be feeling unwell? She's pregnant and she's about to give birth. Let's count how many kittens Sarah gives birth to. One, two, three, three. Beautiful kittens. Well done, Sarah. You're a mummy. Here comes Cecil the snail. As you've probably guessed, snails like Cecil are very slow movers. In fact, they are one of the slowest creatures on earth. Oh, poor you, Cecil. You really don't look well at all. A little slime is good for a snail like Cecil as it helps them to move as well as protect them from the sun. 
but this is just too much slime. It means Cecil can't climb walls. He's just too slippery. I think Cecil may be suffering from a cold. I know how to make you feel better, Cecil, but we're going to need a bit of help from our friend Shane the koala. Robbo, do you remember Shane was eating eucalyptus leaves before? The oil from eucalyptus leaves can help with runny noses and coughs when you have a cold and should help our friend Cecil here. I think Shane is just leaving the pet rescue centre. I'll go and find him. Thank you so much for popping back, Shane. Now, Cecil, breathe in some of that precious eucalyptus oil and you'll start feeling better. Here comes Jimmy the Rabbit. Oh dear, it looks like Jimmy may be allergic to something. I wonder what it could be. What have you been eating, Jimmy? Hmm, I have an idea. Look at that. I think Jimmy is allergic to carrots. Can you tell us what an allergy is, please, Robbo? An allergy is when your body's immune system makes a bit of a mistake and thinks something harmless is dangerous to your body. In Jimmy's case, his body is reacting badly to carrots. Not to worry, there are lots of other delicious vegetables that you can eat instead. We have broccoli, cabbages and squash. They are all super healthy and taste fantastic. Look, the squash is even the same colour as carrots, but it won't make you sneeze. Yummy, yummy. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong, but I need your help Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh, a, l spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right Lucy. Ish spells fish. Well done. I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you?